Welcome back to the channel. We're up in the cabin again, and we are one week away from tapping our trees, which means we have a lot of stuff to get ready still. It's around minus 10 degrees Celsius today, so it is a little bit cold. With the wind, it's feeling significantly colder. We've tapped some trees at home already. We've got four buckets out right now, and we've collected over 100 liters already, which is around 30 gallons or so. We are still a week away from tapping up here, but we do have tons of stuff we have to get going on today. The first thing we're gonna get started on is this evaporator behind me. We're gonna add another evaporator pan. So I need to move some of these blocks around. We also need to uh, shovel away a bunch of the snow so we have some working space. We're also gonna do the same thing as last year, which is put a tarp over top. We wanna keep ourselves out of the elements. We still have a few more things we need to bring up, which include the barrels that we're gonna be storing our sap in. We did bring the 100 liters of sap that we collected at home up here today because the temperature is a little bit too mild at home to leave it down there without it spoiling. It's still really cold up here, so the sap will stay frozen, and that way it'll make it to the time when we're ready to start boiling. And on that note, we should probably get started because we're getting cold and we need to warm up. In order for us to fit two evaporator pans on here, we're gonna have to make it a little bit wider and also a little bit longer. We have to put down two more patio stones so that way we can extend our row of blocks out one more and going too high. And that way we'll be able to fit both evaporator pans on there. Holly has lit us a fire for two reasons. One, it keeps us a bit warmer. And the other reason being is to help thaw everything out so that we can take it apart. I put sand in these blocks earlier this year before we had decided we were going to be getting two pans to boil in. The reason we decided to get two pans is because we realized we're going to have obviously double the amount of sap because we're tapping more trees. But for efficiency and time management, if we already have this built and we already have a fire going and we're already boiling sap, it made sense to us to just extend it and add a second tray to speed up the process of boiling. If we're already gonna be sitting out here for 10 hours a day boiling, we might as well have boiled twice as much at the same time. And we didn't actually come to that conclusion until I had already put sand in here and it all frozen together. I want to raise the tarp higher than it was last year. We were kind of getting smoked out a lot. So I feel if I raise the height of it up a little bit, the smoke won't choke us out so much. So I'm just going to tie this piece here on this tree. That way we can drape our tarp over top and have a higher roof. Thank you. 
gap here when we move them out, then whatever. But it might work. So it looks like it's going to stick here. We wanted it wider so we could get the most amount of heat on the bottom of the evaporator pan and that makes our spout a little bit too short. So I'll get another small nipple to thread in here and that way we can extend this out so that's a little easier to drain it. It's wide enough now for two evaporator pans, which is great. Yeah, we're not gonna go any higher. That's good enough. We wanna kind of keep the fire condensed anyway. So it'll be nice and hot. We'll have to still build up the chimney a little bit more to help get some of the smoke out of here. And then we still have to put the tarp on. But for now, that's great. We like it. Would have been better to do it in the summer when everything was nice and not frozen. So it took a little longer than we wanted. We had to thaw out the blocks and whatnot. I think it looks great. And it's going to be really good with two pans on there. It's going to be boiling a lot more efficiently. Yeah, we just have to extend these out a few more inches. And then it should be good. Yeah, there's a little break in the roof here. The smoke is over. I hope the idea would be better if they're going the other way. I don't know if it's wide enough to make it to the sides. It won't make it to the sides. They'll make it only to the, probably to these uh, things you have down. And you have to tie it to the
We finally finished what we wanted to get accomplished today. We made this beautiful little sugar shack out of a tarp and some saplings, some dead trees. It's not perfect, but we like it. And yeah. we left the back open on purpose so that some of the smoke last year we had a smoke issue. This time we have the roof kind of sloped upwards towards the back. And that way some of the smoke can just kind of go out. Worst case, the wind comes through, maybe it ruins the whole plan, but I think it's better than last year and we'll soon find out once we get it going. I definitely think it's better than last year. Yeah. And then you can see that we've expanded the evaporator. I want to shovel out a little bit more of the snow so that it's down to the actual ground. There's still like six inches of snow here. Now that the evaporator has been fixed and the tarp is up, the last thing we have to do is tap trees and we are going to be doing that in six days. Yes, ma'am. It's Saturday today, so we'll be up here again on Friday and we are going to put out 50 buckets. Yeah, 42. <laughs> 42 buckets, plus we have four at home, so yeah. 46. Like Holly was saying before, we already have a head start. We got like 35 gallons of sap already. So. Yeah. And we're, we brought that up here and we're going to leave it. I'm not sure where. Where do you want to put that? Just put it in here. Okay. Well, we're going to put our 35 gallons of sap in here and it is most certainly going to stay cold and frozen because it's freezing right now. We still have to do the barrels yet, which is we need to pick up a few more and then we haven't really figured out a spot where we're going to put them yet. So we could put them right here. Right yeah, here. we could. Yeah. Front. All right. We found a spot. That was easy. We're going to tidy up this little bit of mess that we made, put the shovels and everything back, and then we're going to get the sap and start storing it in here. Yep. Let's do that. Okay. That's it for another trip to the cabin. It turned out to be a really nice day. It was beautiful out. The weather was great. Uh, the sun's going down now. It's really pretty. So We got everything done we wanted to get done, and we're just one step closer to boiling sap which i am very excited about i'm really looking forward to see how many liters of syrup we actually get this year my face is so frozen when i'm talking I can't make the words out no that's it for this video thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye, bye.